Hey, I was watching the new Samsung commercial for their phones, and it's really cool how they take the phone and they actually touch it to the other phone and it charges instantly. What if when we go to electric vehicles down the road using hydrogen cells that for recharging purposes, instead of having to stop at these places to charge along the way when you're on the highway, you actually create these centers on the side of the highway where they go through a tunnel that charges your car as you're going through the tunnel. So you're driving along, you pull off the side of the road like a rest area and the tunnel actually charges you and builds you right to your car. And that tunnel is actually on the outside of it is solar paneled. And that the airflow that goes through it actually creates blower vents and blows out backwards to get more energy from you going through it in order to create backdraft. So that way you can get energy also from the force of the cars going through that tunnel. Because the cars going forward push air behind them and that air behind them can turn small turbines that create minute amounts of energy. On top of that with solar power on the top of it absorbing into it you can almost make these charging stations into universal charging stations and provided that they're on the side of the road with the new tesla vehicles that can reach 120 miles per hour with automated vehicles you could be cruising down the road 120 140 160 miles per hour and just hit these charging tunnels and whoosh 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 and then when they can store it you know because the, the car has feedback as it runs on the road and so when it goes through there you just take the excess charge off the car because of the static electricity that the car builds up as it's going forward and then discharge the static electricity from the car into the system take that energy as well so you're just you're creating three forms of energy all at once solar energy on top of it as it goes through it's taking the solar energy from the sun as it goes past it's taking the wind energy from it and as it drives over it's taking the static energy from it to recharge the electric cars every time it goes through them and then it can take the static electricity from any other car or any other truck as well just as long as it goes over it because static electricity is always what's static when a vehicle is moving it's the energy that keeps the flow of the it keeps the vehicle to the ground and keeps it moving forward and so therefore the actual movement forward of the vehicle on a surface that is immobile creates the energy itself. Static electricity. Anyways, so that would be a really good way to recharge these. So you don't actually have to stop on the side of the road for a convenience store or anything. You know, you plug in that you want to go to California and the thing just starts driving. You're going 160 miles per hour and you don't have to stop in any towns. You don't have to stop anywhere because you're on a universal highway system that's designed just for electric cars. E plus one equals everyone. E plus one equals everyone.